Hello, my name is Troy. So, the Craft Nation has popped up again and made a sort of video on all the haters, what gave him um, shit for um, his Andy Griffith video. And I was just looking at this video, but the first thing I want to talk about is the title. And his title is Lifeguard Fired for Trying to Save Man's Life. Um, to be honest, this title doesn't really have much to do with the video other than he spoke about this thing for about five minutes at the end. But anyway, let's get on with the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play his video and I'm just going to say my opinion and pause it every so often. What's going on folks? How you feeling out there? Let me uh, get something off of my chest. Okay folks? I was going to elaborate on this yesterday but it was a 4th of July and I didn't want to fuck up nobody's day. Let me explain something, folks. If, you, if you're new to my channel, if you're just a hater trying to ride my balls because somebody sent you or you ain't got nothing else better to do, you can't go get laid, you don't have a video game, nobody liked you because you got the buggers hanging out, you know, I don't know what your problem is. Something got to be wrong with you if you're a hater. This is my... I'm not a hater. And I do have video games, as you can see back there. I have video games. Moving on. My channel, I do what I want on this channel. You know, Fair enough, you can do whatever you want on your channel, I do whatever I want on my channel and everybody else does whatever they want on their channels. I don't have people telling me what I can't, can and can't do on my channel, but then also there is a limit to what you can and can't do on your channel, like for example you can't put pornography on your channel because it's against the YouTube rules, but moving on. But it's going to stop me from doing what I want on this channel. You know, people coming at me about my latest video about Andy Griffin. Yeah, I said his name wrong. What, you going to whoop my ass? Oh, Kevin, you wasn't remorseful. How are you going to have ass on your videos? First of all, just because I'm not... So then, you, you um, brought up the fact everyone was a bit pissed off because you didn't say his, um, Andy's last name right. Now, I'm quite sure you didn't say it right just then again, but it's quite hard to tell. But anyway, let's, let's just quickly look at the spellings of Griff If and Griff In. As you can see, the two spellings are on my head. One has an I-N at the end, and the other one has a T-H at the end. Now, I have dyslexia. I find it very hard sometimes to read things, but I can quite clearly see that one is Griff In and one is Griff If. There is a slight difference in the both. Walking around here with a gun to my head and to kill myself because of this celebrity passed away, that doesn't mean I'm remorseful. You know? Alright, and fair enough. You don't need to cry and get all depressed because a celebrity dies. Obviously, you didn't know him. Fair enough. You make a video on him and, you know, why you don't, you know, sad to see him go and everything. And me putting ass on my video. I do that on all my fucking videos if you haven't noticed. That's how I know you're not a true fan. It's not subscribers talking that. Yes, I put ads on my videos too. About 75% of YouTube can put ads on their videos. But I don't go putting ads on videos like death videos like yours. So when I made my video talking about you, you know, dissing Andy Griffith and, you know, doing all this stuff. I didn't put ads on that video because I felt if I put ads on the video, I would just be as bad as you. I thought I would be as bad as you and I wouldn't be doing any better. It's motherfuckers who come over here from who knows where. They got nothing else better to do. Okay? Okay. Let's just say me, for example. I've got about... 49 subscribers, 38 subscribers, I can't remember off the top of my head. Okay, go ahead and laugh. I haven't got very many subscribers at the moment. But at the same time, I, each video of mine I get from average between 40 and 100 views. So, yeah, people are going to come in from random places and see your videos. Despite the fact if they're subscribed to you or not. And if people don't like your videos, they are entitled to talk against them. Or if people like the vi your videos, they are entitled to say nice things about your videos. That is the point of YouTube opinion, isn't it? Understand something, folks. Any video I put up will always have an ass on it. I don't give a damn what it is. Okay, I take the time. I yeah, you don't give a damn what it is. So, let's just put you in Andy's 
family's shoes, yeah? Uh, let's just say, for example, you died, right? And your kids, right, have to put up with all the shit, right? And everyone come on here and, you know, and started saying, oh, Craft Nations died, right? And started putting ads on it. Let's just say, for example, I made a Craft Nation death video and took advantage of your death. Let's, and, and, and let's just say, for example, I decided to call you Crap Nation instead of Craft Nation, so I wouldn't even get your name right as well. I think your family would be pretty insulted, especially if I started calling you crap, you know. So yeah, think about it, right? You wouldn't be like to be treated like it, so why treat others like it? You've got about 13 death videos for fuck's sakes. Okay, maybe one or two death videos is acceptable, but 13 is a bit over the top. Quite obviously, you're taking advantage of people's deaths so you can make money. I'd like to make a video to inform you guys and guess what it's a lot of people who really enjoy the videos oh you want to inform us about people's deaths well it's on the news enough so yeah I think you don't really need to do that type of thing alright now another thing answer this between me pausing it you said people like the videos you make fair enough people like the videos I make and people also don't like the videos I make which is the same with you and criticism, I'm going to get criticism through my videos and you're going to get criticism through your videos. You're just going to have to take it on the chin. I like to learn from a lot of my criticism because it makes me a better person and it makes my videos better. Maybe you should do the same. Question, how come if I make a video about a celebrity passing away, people gossip shit to say, oh, you don't care about them. You're just trying to profit off of them. You know, how come when I make a video about Trayvon Martin dying or the little girl who got raped and beat to death, how come when I make a video about them and his ads on there, people don't say shit? Oh, that I would have said something if I had seen those videos, but sadly, I don't live in the same place as you, so I couldn't really tell you. You know, I might have not seen the videos because I don't know about those things. A couple of days ago, um, two people, or not about three people, died near me. It was only around the corner, head on collision in a car crash. I bet you don't know about that. Right, it happened in Devon, right? I think it was in Devon or Cornwall. I think it happened in Torquay, head on co um, collision. It was around the corner from me, pretty much. I could pretty much cycle there. Well, it was about a 10 minute drive, half an hour drive. Alright, so a load of people have died in a car crash near me. Do you know do you know about that? I don't think you do know about that because it's on the British news, not the American news. So less people know about it. Andy Griffith dies. A lot more people know about it because a lot more people look up to Andy Griffith than a little girl who gets killed and raped. Lots of little girls get killed and raped. But if I knew about your video, I would have done it. I know, I'm going to do it now, yeah? Shall I? You, you're that desperate, you would take anyone's death and take advantage of it. There you go. Sad. Get the motherfucker life. This and that. Nobody don't say nothing about all these ads on this video. You're not so remorseful because you don't give a fuck. Why do you care about a celebrity more? Because you feel you know them? You know, because they made you laugh, they entertained you, and the average Joe, you don't know nothing about this person, so this person is, is worthless? Yeah, that's what's wrong with society today. That's what it is. People just are so fucking narrow-minded. They don't care about nothing unless they think it's important. Just like this, this, this fucking... We're all narrow-minded because we don't think it's important. I think the fact you're um, exploiting people's deaths, I think that is pretty sick because the families, you know, they're most likely seeing these videos and it's probably a kick in the teeth, especially the fact you can't pronounce people's names right and you think it's fine to call someone Andy Griffin when quite clearly their last name is Griff If and you even spelt it on the top right and you took the video down so obviously you were ashamed of this video lifeguard lost his job because he went out of his own to save a man who was now you're going on about the lifeguard being sacked fair enough drowning you know, he lost his job. His supervisor fired him because he went out of his zone. So, you know, I understand you got zones, you got to protect certain things and all that. But you see a man dying. He was doing what he was taught to do. Natural instinct. Serve and protect people. You know what I'm saying? 
That shit just blows my mind how people just so narrow-minded and fucking stupid and self-centered and don't care about nobody but themselves. I hate that shit, folks. I really do. You know, so if you live in that lifestyle, you really need to stop. Because hating on people and doing negative things don't do nothing for your life. It probably okay, this whole lifeguard thing, I think you're entitled to express your opinion on this. I think you're entitled to put ads on this. But at the same time... Hating on people, it's not doing anything good for yourself. Yes, I totally agree with that. But you think about it, Craft Nation, you're a powerful man. You, you really are a powerful man. Whatever you say, you know, a lot of people are listening. What, you've got on this video at the moment, you've got 6,530 views. That's quite a few views. It's a lot more views than what I get. Now, I'm not jealous of the fact you get more views than me because you've been talking on the camera a lot more than me. Perhaps two years down the line, I will have that many views. But at the same time, yes, you're a powerful person. There's no need for you to be doing death videos to wheel in more people. Then longer. You know, if you can't beat the, um, beat the, the bandwagon, you ain't got to hop on it. Keep moving. You know, like for real. So I just wanted to get that off my chest to all the haters out there, the people that's watching my videos and, and, and liking the way I look and the way I look and, and telling themselves how sexy I am but writing a negative comment, you know, just to hide the demons on the inside. Like, oh, I like this dude, but I, I, I got to follow the bandwagon and, 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 and be a hater because I have nothing else better to do. Folks, chill that shit out, please. That's all I'm saying. Links in the description box to the actual store if you want to check it out. Leave your opinion or whatever about how you feel about fucked up society today. If not, have a good day. Follow me on Twitter. Deuces. So then, Craft Nation, there's no debate in the fact a lot of people view your channel. A lot of people see your channel and you're going to get criticism. And you're going to get a lot of criticism. Like, I'm going to get a lot of criticism. And I understand the fact not everybody is going to like my videos. But what you've got to see is people are telling you not to put ads on your video. It's a stab in the heart for people. You might as well just go up to the families of these people and go, ah, 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 ah. your whatever's died. It is a bullet to the head, it is an insult. And you think it's okay to do a death video. On people and take the piss out of people's deaths okay like I was saying in the exploding death video people have done this all the time you take the Princess Diana death people were taking pictures of her while she was dying it happens all the time but do you really 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 need to join in and make things even worse I don't think you do and you think about it you were there saying um, people jump on bandwagons I don't I didn't jump on any bandwagon when I saw your video in fact I made my death video before I saw everybody else's death videos but anyway this is all I have to say thank you for watching and I hope you all enjoyed before I just end this video I just like to say I, I will be putting ads on this video I think there's a box somewhere where you can decide if you want to get paid on the video or not I'm gonna make sure I can't get payments off this video hopefully anyway but at the same time I'm not wanting to exploit deaths with adverts I'm only putting the ads on for a little shield for my video but anyway thank you for watching